Are you going? Um, they're about to go. Um, is anyway want to do intro or am I doing it myself? Okay, we're live. Okay, um, welcome back to round three of Bingo Bash, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Bingo. And today, the and today the matches of Cave Pyro and Tay Cage. And our commentators are Shadow Hunter and Left Shark Vivo. And myself. Hello. Hello. The board has just been revealed. So what does the board looks like? Um okay, so it does not it looks like every row can be made. It can be used. Oh wait, let me rebuild the board myself. I'm not seeing our timer increment here. We might have some technical difficulties. We should be starting off a five minute timer to let our contestants plan a route. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what time did we reveal the board? Did we reveal the board on we revealed the board at twenty five at uh twenty three zero zero. So we have timer's until going. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. Left Shark and Shadow, what do you think the board, uh, how's this board in your opinion? Any routes that you would choose? Take back the sea. Hmm. I um, know that, that quest is kind of, <laughs> that, <laughs> the, the it's not is, great. It's but not it's fun. Okay. So, take back the street, uh, sea is, you wait, to to are we person. seeing this correctly? Are we all seeing that take back the sea is all five from top left to bottom right? This could yeah, just be a match they, of doing that one you're not quest. Allowed you're not allowed uh -huh. to do top left bottom right yeah okay so <laughs> um okay so we're gonna have to ignore that wild uh, anomaly and start planning ahead um the first thing i see is that there aren't any divine beast completion quests any blank checks to do one it's top divine left beast bottom on right correct it's top left bottom right they're banned from using oh Okay, you just said shadow. Ew, take back the sea sucks. Um, so take back the sea in particular. I've done this before. I, I hate it. It's basically you have to talk to a guy and learn root. I don't remember. And then you go to an enemy camp in the middle of the ocean. And then you kill the enemies. And then you pretty sure you collect a chest or something like that. Or cook fish. I'm not sure. I know you have to defeat the enemies. And then report back. And then that's how you complete the quest. I'm pretty sure. I haven't done I haven't hey, done that quest in like two years. So can everyone see it in the Discord the uh, stream? Uh oh. no. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Nope, I can't see it. I can't see it. So there we go. Oh, no. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, return to all, the board. They all suck. Uh this board is Ooh. brutal. So, so this board looks like most of these squares, not all, are from an easier short round. We're not seeing a lot of quests that require completing a divine beast. We're not seeing anything like um, I don't see kill a Lionel on here or any you know serious castle quest. Um, even monster shield, that's optional. Island shield and the oh, there's one quest that's not going to be fun for either of them. DC straight and not even tied trend quest. I feel like they're not going to go for that because that's going to take way too much time. I'm looking personally, I'm looking at row five, row five because apple of my eye is not difficult. Um, What's curry apple peel off isn't that bad because you're going to be going for El to Elden for fireproof wizard roundup. Um, the only problem is that you're going all the way to Elden and then you're going all the way to um Lurelin to get kicked back the sea. Yeah, but row five looks pretty nice. Um personally, yeah, I agree. Row five is pretty good overall. But there for curry playoff you need uh um when you Goron Spice what do you what do you need? I completely forgot. Besides, you need Goron spice. Um, I'm pretty sure it's. 
I think it's um, Samantha Wheat, Cane Sugar, Goat Butter, but it might be different. I think it, I know you need Goron Spice, which you either have to find Yamo or go all the way to Goron Village. And you can only get it. Okay. They're starting. All right, okay. time has started. You see Tay immediately moving to pick up some extra hearts rather than saving that checkpoint for a BTB later. Mm -hmm. The goal in here will be getting a bit of food and immediately getting off of Plateau. We're seeing a lot of travel in all of these because we have to go to take back the sea and then there are a lot of objectives near Kilton or Akala. Uh, we can anticipate a lot of either wind bombs or BTBs to get across the map quickly later on. Yeah, I agree. There are a lot of missions that you have to go really far to get to, especially since you have to do take back the sea. I'm also looking at, um, like, for Killing Wolduga, you have to go to, um, wait, Gut Check Challenge is the one in... I believe that's up between uh, Akala and Elden. Yes, it is. It's in right by Elden Mountains, I'm pretty sure. Right, so that might be nice to pair with Akala Tower if you can get up there quickly, but the problem is just getting to Akala in the first place. True. And plus for a gut check, you need a lot of stamina, or else you won't make it up. In fact, we see Cal Pyro picking up a lot of Stamella Shrooms to begin with, so we can assume he's going to save those for good use later. Yeah. So, I feel like... Um... Because Korok Leaf is so free, like, they did balance row Iron Column 3, but it might not even be that bad. Row one might be better though, because you're doing the deer and hunting mini game and um, talking to Hilton's right by gut check. So that might be worthwhile. What else do we have? It's true, but column three also has some strength with Hylian shield, because if you're going through the castle anyway to get some great weapons, take back the sea is just that much easier. And so is stranded on you. Well, you can throw your weapons onto even tie to make it easier. True. But then you lose them after. So that could be useful too. Looks like Tay is getting the fire arrows and the ice arrows for the BTB leader. Do we I'm have any this... camera memory and camera or memory things on this? I don't think so. No. So. This seems to write out the obligatory trip to Hateno. Mm hmm. Well, besides 90 or something, but. Um. Try and look at every route and see if any other ones are good. What is the Three Giant Brothers that I'm guessing that's in... Um, oh, I know which one that is. That's the Three Hinoxes. Correct. That's over by Ateno Tower, just south, in between there and Faron. Mm -hmm. So, Oh, that's also near Horse God Mel Melania. And don't you get a great Thunderblade from that shrine? Or am I just mistaken? I'm pretty sure you do. It's entirely possible. I can't say I have much knowledge of that area. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Because if it does, I think that one might be the best one.
Yep, it is a great Thunder Blade in there. So that might, I think that's the best one. Row three. Because you're near Horse God Melania, you get the Great Thunder Blade while doing the three great bro- the three giant brothers, and then take back as his sea is in the same area. All you have to do is get Monster Cake, which you can find near like the two ring side quest. You can find um, the girl with I think her name is Chobby, and she has the um, extract. So I personally think row three. We're seeing Cow receive another heart right now. So I think Cow may be attempting to leave. Um, and Tay is also trying to leave Plateau and begin routing. Mm-hmm. Going towards Lake, probably just heading to Saron for um, take back to sea. Or doing row three. We'll see. He's having a lot of problem with lag stops here, probably because of either an angle or a natural vegetation. And then earlier, he had unfortunately some fake rain on GP, making it even harder to get around. Mm-hmm. Looks like Calpyro might be going for the BTB because um, he has the heart. I mean, not heart. He's right on top of the. Uh, Temple of Time, and he set up the Boko and everything. He's definitely going for the BTB. But where would that take him? Probably There's, all the way to Castle. There is also a Faron set up right here for Become Monkey Percent, or just good to know for um, Bingo as well. And you bounce off the, shul- the right shoulder of this Boko, and it sends you back over Lake Tower, which is also useful for Towers and Bingo. Okay. Doesn't look like it was an amazing angle. And <laughs> we seem to be having okay. some difficulty now and then with Calpyro's stream. Hopefully, yeah. it'll hold out. Hopefully, we'll see. Calpyro also running into fake rain, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Fake rain is very annoying. Also looks like Tay is almost to um, Lurland Village. Just making his way past there on Tower. Depending on how you use the lag here, it can be a great friend or enemy, depending on if you're trying to super or if you can hit a lag stop through here. It makes it kind of risky, but advantageous if you're able to hit it. I think for these runners, since they're both very experienced, I think that this would be more of a um, helper than a hinder. Mm -hmm. Interesting that Tay's going for the shrine. Might just be using it as a save point. Yeah. I actually didn't know you could get an ice block horizontally through a waterfall. <laughs> Me neither. Although this is the intended strat to get through Kaya Wan. I think most people just don't think of it in terms of free falling water. <laughs> I wonder what's in these chests. I think it's arrows though. Yeah. Ice arrow and I think one of them has fire arrows and one of them has electric arrows. I think it's a oh, normal arrow. Or no. Maybe, just for money then. We see Probably cow take one. Ooh. We had a very quick defeat of a stone talus uh, for how to get some money, I assume, to pay a horse god or something. Maybe to get some supplies in Hateno. We'll find out soon. And that was a rare stone talus, right? I think it was. Um, the stone talus... Oh, sorry. No, you can go. I think... Um, oh, sorry. Um, you want me to go, right? I... Yeah, go. 
I think this is the one by Castle, though. It's not. It's by Dueling. It's north of Dueling Peaks, and it's a normal stone talus. Okay. Because it seemed to drop some really good stuff. Rubies and a, a lot of amber. Now Pyro's also starting to run well on food because of unfortunate wind bombs. The distance here is really taxing, I think, on both players. In fact, I was going to remark I had never seen Tay spend so long trying to gather food on Plateau before. Yeah. Ooh. Going for the three giant brothers. From Tay. I'm guessing row... Wait. Yeah, I'm guessing row three then. Because everything's in the same spot except for Monster Cake. All right. The Route 3 is pretty optimized. I think talking to Kilton would probably be um, out of the capabilities of this round since it's designed to be a shorter board. Yeah. We're seeing Cal low on food, just barely gliding into Kakariko, hopefully to restock soon. And as an old Shrines runner, Tay definitely knows what he's doing with um, Three Giant Brothers to Shrine Quest. This quest is normally done in all Shrines with Speed Food, and so it's interesting to watch uh, a bit more precarious battle as you walk through normal speed out of the Hinox's Den. Yeah, true. And... It's definitely more dangerous because he's not moving as fast so he can be killed easier. Certainly. And, and looking low on hearts, so... If he, Go ahead. If he dies, do the um, balls get reset? Or... Well, it depends on the autosave, I guess. So that right. could either be really... That could be really bad. I think we'll see the diciest portion coming up ahead because these past two have been dry. The final Hinox is on wet ground and there are some Bokoblins with shock arrows around that they're probably going to be the most difficult part of this segment. Oh, that was really close. Was Good save. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Cal getting some much needed fairies, and there are also some great Endura carrots over here. Uh, this section is usually more of a staple in longer routes because typically you'd have a camera quest, you'd need to go to Tenno, you need to activate um, dragons by talking to Impa first. And so you'd normally see more runners being able to get some uh, food and backup supplies out here. Seems like we already need that for Calpyro, and I'm sure Tay could mm -hmm. use some as well. I think Calpyro is definitely going for safer strategies so that, um, because he's getting a lot of food so that he doesn't run out. And like if Tay dies, then he's going to lose a lot of time. Definitely. The last thing you want is to be almost done and then reset on the last tile. <laughs> yeah. True. I think. Uh, Tay has uh, a couple, a great uh, hardy durians and two fairies because he went to Faron. True, true. So that was pretty good routing of food. And also about to mark two squares here. But did. Tay did not um, start the shrine quest yet. Um, you can you can solve that just by looking at the um, stone tablet behind the shrine. Yeah. Okay. We see a nice BTB off of the 
what's normally a Kakariko to Tenno loop. That looks like it was modified to take Kalpyra a bit further south. Yeah, definitely going towards Pharaon right now. Oh. Unless? I'm not quite sure where we were intending to go with this, unless this was a Hateno BTB at first. It seemed to be an accident of turning around. So probably heading towards Pharaon, as you said earlier. Yeah, I would be shocked if Kalpyra is actually trying to head out to Eventide. Mm-hmm. We see Tay going up to turn in the three giant brother shrine quest right here. Yep. And that's two. I think that row three is definitely the easiest one because everything's in the same place. You know, much faster, much nicer BTP from Calpyro. I'm sure they're happy with this as long as they can get a bit farther through this tower and avoid landing. Mm-hmm. A lot of lag stop though. I know, just a lot of lag because BTBs do put a lot of strain on the game. Mm -hmm. True. I do see the camp for the take back the sea right now. There are some pretty tough enemies over here. I think there are a few. I think there's a black moblin, but you can just hit them into the water and they die. So it's not a huge deal. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's safe to say as soon as we see Tay switch to Ice Arrows, it's time to start just pushing enemies off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Headshotting an enemy and causing it to ragdoll while it's on the edge can be just as effective and a lot cheaper, which we're seeing Tay do right now. Mm-hmm. Tay also has a lot of arrows, so very nice for this mission. We see Cal making the first big purchase of the game and using some of that money from the Rotalis to buy 10 bomb arrows. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Um, I don't think we've deduced what row or column they're going for. It could be for Take Back the Sea, uh, just a flashier, more expensive way to go about it. I feel like it's more of a time waste, though, because you can just headshot them. But we'll see what happens. There's that moblin. Right. I'm not sure why we would have gone out to Hateno just to do um, an arrow purchase. Yeah. I feel like the rest of that money, if there's any left, is going to be used for Horse God, because mm -hmm. otherwise there's probably not a use for buying that. And a use for getting the money in the first place. Looks like Tay is almost done. Pretty sure that's the last enemy. There's one below him, I think. We're seeing Cal Pyro about to attempt another Temple of Time BTB. And this one looks to be heading more towards Pharaon. Okay, Tay found the last book open. So really nice BTB, looking like we're going towards Rito, maybe to buy ingredients for a monster cake. Oh, true.
Yeah, that was a very nice BTB. Took him very far. I'll have to learn that one myself for bingo. That'd make getting Dorito a lot easier. Yeah, well, yeah. So even though we've completed Take Back the Sea, we actually have to turn in the quest and get that complete banner to run across the top of the screen. Mm-hmm. Looks like Tay's aiming to do that right now when bombing around the corner to Lurlin Village and find the person to turn the quest into. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the person by the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Might be the person at the docks, though. Tay's run into a time limit and needs to sleep and get that NPC to come out and be able to uh, select the dialogue to turn in the quest. But unfortunately, because of timing, he's not able to actually turn it in right now. Yeah, sometimes time of day is, can be very frustrating because the NPCs are asleep. You can waste some time and sometimes that little time waste can make a big difference. So a beautifully high BTB for Cal Pyro to slowly head us towards Rito. Not quite the speed he probably wanted, but it gets him up there. And we'll see if we can get a bit closer with some follow-up wind bombs. Have some downtime just either running to a stable or cooking food right now. Tay's taking advantage of this to use some much needed food because Tay will need to make a monster cake, which I think does require going all the way to Rito. I'm not sure that there is another place to get some of the ingredients. You can't get cane sugar and you can get cane sugar at um you can get it at three places being Goron Village, uh Quark Forest, and Rito. And Rito is definitely the fastest. I'm pretty sure um, one of the travelers also sells sells the um, cane sugar, but only at a certain time. And you have to go there for wait. Hatino, I think, has Tabantha wheat, but I'm not positive. Mm. It does not. It does not have Tabantha. Uh... Hatena does not have a uh, Tabantha wheat. It has eggs, milk, Endura shrimps, and hearty truffles as its food. Correct. Okay. Because Tabantha wheat is only found in Korok Forest and the Tabantha region and Rito Village. Those are the only locations it's found. I don't think it's found in Korok Forest. That's Hylian Rice, actually. So, actually. because I went to Korok Forest this morning and there wasn't, there was only Hylian Rice. But that was a, those aerial wind bombs are very cool because they're so fast and you're not like wasting time trying to set them up and they waste like the minimal amount of stamina. So I think we just saw Tay throw a bomb uh, bomb barrel or a fire barrel and explode it on a Bacoblin camp just to uh, kind of troll them. I'm not sure there's actually any resources on there, <laughs> but I think we're just seeing Tay have fun with this. Um, Tay did not have a B2B Dorito, but is so far having some pretty good wind bombs and getting some movement set up as he approaches this mob land, which should be a clear entrance into Dorito Village for him. Yeah, definitely looking like a BTV setup, and... Yep. And there we go. That I'm pretty good. sure that's the all 
all dungeons BTB that takes you to I think it takes you to the stone pillars if I'm not mistaken but it's definitely useful BTB for bingo because it'll take you all the way to Samantha and very nice game knowledge knowing where that diamond was under the rock And then just Tay just wind bombing his way up to the top of Satori Mountain for a. Is there is it possible for a BTB to be done off Satori Mountain, or is there no locations on this mountain? I'm not sure. I've seen one commonly used. It looks like Tay might just be getting food here. There's some really valuable hardy durians. Hmm. And plus, this location has a ton of dirt carrots on the lower areas of the mountain. Like, a lot of them. The most of any location in the game. Kalpyra is the first hit to ban the wheat rather than trying to farm it or go somewhere else. This is necessary to get their first check on the board. Hopefully, we can see some ingredients uh, make it into a cooking pot very soon. Does Calpyro have the monster extract? I don't think I don't so. think I saw that yet. And it looks like Tay's getting the monster extract right now. Monster S extract is a really interesting ingredient because it's typically only used in bingo. Even hundo runners don't really have a need for it. In no part during their run do they really need to save a traveler unless they're trying to get something from them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure runners would only use travelers to get the monster extract. I don't know if there are any travelers that get guan spice. But those two are definitely the most, like, those are two of the hardest items to come across in bingos and just in the game in general. Agreed. I'm pretty sure Goron Spice is only located in Goron City, and that's it. Um, someone also sells that. I mean, someone, one of the travelers sells Goron Spice. And it's, um, Yamo. Which can be found at Tabantha Bridge Stable, Snowfield Stable, and I think Rito Stable. And you can sit at the fire over and over. And I, you can sit at the fire until the weather you want the traveler appears and then um you can just reload saves did not know that i thought goron's place was only found in goron city and that's it so good to know yeah yamo sells goron spice at in the rain and when it's snowing cow pyro just marking their first square on the board we see either column one or row five turning an apple of my eye and we also know that we have that monster cake ingredients uh from the trip to the store earlier so i'm i'm gonna guess row five yeah i think so too it seems a bit challenging because they'll have to make their way back up to elden for the fireproof lizard roundup yeah i don't think that um cow pyro will be able to get there as, as fast as he would hope because um, Tay's approaching the end of his um, route towards Rito and then can just teleport back to the Three Giant Brothers shrine and make his way to the Horse God.
How much does Melania cost? Because I thought, how much does Melania cost? 500, right? Mm. Or am I wrong? I'm, I think it's 600, but that might be wrong. I'll look it up. I'm seeing uh, a thousand rupees, uh, which seems like we might have some farming to do. Yep, 1,000. We don't really have that kind of money available to either player right now. In fact, most of cows are spent on bomb arrows, so they both would have to do some farming. Well, there are some good trends for farming, like Hamia Talk, or... I'm... I think there are some... I think... I think that Tay did get some food. I not food. Some items to sell, but I maybe not. I know that Cal Pyro got a lot of. A lot Team of... marking up the board would take back the C. It looks like we uh <laughs> would almost have a winner if that was allowed. But unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> I like how the creators of the custom boards did that because it gives a lot of room for creativity on the creator's part to make bingos much more interesting because if both of the players have to do this one of the same tiles it can sh like show who is faster at routing i mean, faster with and better at routing definitely I do see a couple gems in Tay's inventory, but not nearly enough to pay the horse god. Looks like we're going to immediately start looking for money now, because this is Tay's last remaining tile. Cal Pyro at Kyle 1, probably getting some enduring food. Or maybe just skipping and going straight for the next section. I'm not quite sure where where Kyle's going. Saving. I wonder what that's for. I think we're about to watch quite an improvised BTB, maybe? Maybe. We did see those ice arrows, so... I'm guessing he's going to want to go to Elden from this BTB, but I've never seen this setup before. Kyle is able to whip out some very interesting BTBs. We've seen this from him before in previous matches. He tends to stray away from some of the more popular routes and can use... Uh, some pretty good game knowledge to just BTB wherever. It was a very high angle, but should get him onto the top of that mountain if he chooses to get some leverage on those wind bombs. It looks like we see Tay going to the horse god, but I'm not sure we either understand the correct number to pay her or how much money Tay actually has, because I'm not under the... Oh, he has a thousand. When did that happen? I have no idea. Did he drop by Kaiwan? I don't think so. Wow, it looks like we're looking at a very early end for Tay within the next minute here. That was incredibly fast. There we go. We paid Horse God Melania. GG's. Oh, yeah, yeah. the diamond. The diamond right. on... Yeah, on Satori. I forgot about that. GG's. GG's. Let's see if we can bring our uh, contestants back in there to give them some post-round interview questions.
Well, GG's both runners. Congratulations, Tay. Thank you. <laughs> Congrats, Tay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, well, ooh, ooh. <laughs> There's some very wise words from Tay coming in hot. Yeah, I changed lines midway through. What was your was original really route? So nice. I was going to go for column four because everything's like around the same area. So like hunting minigame or the deer hunting is in Hateno, Eventide near Hateno, Take Back the Sea near Hateno. Great Thunderblade near Hateno. And then Fireproof Lizard was the only thing I had to go out of my way for, but I could have done like the BTB setups that I did for um, my Damage Assault Dungeons run. So that game would have been great. And then the Great Thunderblade that I saw on the object map was actually in master mode. And I was like, oh, I'm stupid. Mm. It was the one in front of Shota Saw. I was oh. just like, I'm I'm smooth brained. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh come on, Tay, you can't read. So yeah. So I had to switch rows then. So I was originally gonna do column four until I like I was in using Magnesis like in front of Shodasov looking for a chest. And I was like, oh geez, I gotta swap rows now. Well, it looks like you um, recovered pretty well, um, and we saw some really good routing regardless, especially picking up those, I think it was a diamond for your uh, Horse God Melania payment. Yeah. What else did you get to pay Horse God Melania? I only saw um, the diamond pickup. I went to the stable where you talk to the person that gives you 500 rupees to get, or oh, talk to yeah. them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's nice. There's just a free 500 plus that diamond. I think we saw a touch of chaos or boredom as well with a nice little stop to the uh, Boko camp you uh, blew up some barrels at and uh, took off immediately. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking right then, like whether I should do the BTB or go inside of uh, Kamyatak. So we're going to so... reach out to Cal and see if we can get him in as, as well. In the meantime, Tay, what do you think oh, the hardest part the of this board was? Kalpyro's um, in the waiting room. I think you can just join the voice chat. But I think, I think hard... our restreamer can also pull in Kalpyro. Yeah. Can I pull in Cal? No, I can't. There we go. There Welcome, we go. Cal. Hey, guys. GG's. <laughs> GG. GG's Tay completely destroying me. No. So what were you going for? What route were you planning on doing? I was doing uh row five. Um I considered row three, but the Great Thunderblade, uh I wasn't exactly sure where one was. And then the monster cake would make me go to Tabantha and then all the way to Akala. So I figured mm -hmm. I could combine the routing for the monster cake with the other ingredients and but i guess that was the wrong move <laughs> to your yeah, credit though you could... we saw some great movement and even chat's calling out right now you had some amazing btbs Were, have you done all of those before or are you just improvising at this point um the ridgeland and tabantha btb i've done before um i discovered slash invented two new btbs today which one is Central Tower, which I didn't ha need to use. Um, and the other was the one you saw me use going to Lanayru. Oh, well, I guess three. The one going to Lanayru and then the Boko BTB that's supposed to send me to Elden, but I landed wrong. That was still some really nice improvisation because it brought you onto that mountain which you could use to win bomb, even if it didn't take you to Elden. Yeah, I found I have some trouble getting that Boko to be spaced right from the pillar. So I figured if I get something semi good, I'll just be IL the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also the great Thunderblade and um, the giant brothers really correspond because the great Thunderblades in the shrine. Really? So it's yeah. not showing up on my 
it, it's not showing up on my object map. There is one in Ferron that I missed shrines. though that I could have crowded yeah, in. You have to actually like click on the shrine in order for it to tell you like what's inside. Uh, of course, because <laughs> all shrines do do. Because yeah, the giant brothers they're not that hard, but I didn't want to have to travel to some random place on the map just to get a great thunderblade on top of Kilton. So it's like yeah. I almost actually died on the giant brothers like not having They're speed food walking through the water and one of the bokos has like the thunder rod it actually electrocuted me and i would luckily grab fairies beforehand oh wow right. yeah, yeah i mentioned was... earlier so tay's done this route all the time going through um the three giant brothers but normally with speed food and additionally by this point you typically have fairies and a lot more hearts by now oh yeah i know i've done the three giant brothers a few times in randomizer um just because it's it's an easy way to get an out of logic shrine yeah also tay w didn't you do a wind bomb at the three giant brothers and get to like a quarter heart because you almost died there of fall oh damage. yeah i was ragdolling yeah it was a really mm -hmm. bad wind bomb and i started the ragdolling across the floor yeah, that was really close because if you had died, you'd probably have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I look forward to watching the VOD and, and seeing how Tay did. It was it was very like me standing around thinking what to do and then I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I had known there was a great Thunderblade, not even the Three Giant Brothers one, but just one in Faron. That puts pretty much all the objectives in the same relative area on the map. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like all of them are in like the same region or around the same region. Like I was originally gonna go for column four until I realized that Great Thunder Blade, like in front of Shoto Saw is actually only in master mode. And I was like, ah, oh, come on. So I actually swapped <laughs> rows in the middle of the the match. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, it's actually funny though. Around the area. So like I like all of them are in the same area for like row three as well, except for uh, the monster cake. So I remembered somehow, I remembered that the Great Thunderblade was in that shrine because of when you did um, Eventide and like threw your Thunderblade onto Eventide. Because I don't know why, but I just remember you getting the Great Thunderblade there for like all shrines. I don't know why. <laughs> But oh, yeah. it's it's definitely useful to have all shrines knowledge. Yeah, it's just oh, definitely like, have in game knowledge and like randomizers like more insane. Like it's more strict on the rules and it's scary. So Cal Pyro, like with those randomizers, uh, I couldn't. Oh yeah, the item <laughs> randomizer is is interesting, but you do a lot of casual strats too. So it's it doesn't always help you with bingo, but it's it's good for like. Korok routing and things like that. Yeah. But overall, I think this was a, like this was a pretty nice board because there were a lot of pretty good routes. Row three just seemed to trump them all, though. Yeah. I was surprised I didn't go for row three to begin with. I should have just used my brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it I didn't take I mean, me a while to come to the conclusion of row three two though. <laughs> I was thinking about doing uh diagonal uh column one down to column five, like left or right. That one seemed pretty good. I mean Yeah, you know, when the routing started and the card was revealed, I did not realize the rules would be modified for this. And so I'm looking at that diagonal. I'm like, that that can't be right. That that doesn't make sense. Something's wrong here. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what did I miss the whole time. And so it was about two minutes and 30 seconds into our routing that I saw the message, you know, can't do diagonals. I'm like, oh, mother fudger. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I better warn you. <laughs> no, it's I'm sure I'm sure it was uh stated in the chat and I just missed it. Oh, I, I learned today. I was like so confused during Zen's and Maya's game. I was just like, what the heck? Why is there like a million style horses and why aren't they only doing that? And then the knowledge was <laughs> land, like laid down on me and I'm like, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> hmm.
I'm pretty sure that Mules added it to the paste bin for the rules. So oh, I, if you want to know the rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't read the rules at all. Well, great job, Tay. I mean, you it's it feels to me like you smoked me. I think I have still around no, twenty minutes great. left of my I'm bingo. Proud of you. you did great. Um, Cause those BTVs you did, I, I wouldn't do. So <laughs> GG. Yeah, they're all I'm impressed. like it, the nice thing is that the BTVs off of Temple of Time, with the exception of Ridgelands, are all derivatives of either Hyrule Castle BTV or Kakariko BTV. So if you think of it in terms of that, they're relatively easy to remember. So proud of you. <laughs> You're still a winner in my eyes. Oh, thank you, Tay. You're so nice. Of course. But otherwise, I think this was I think this was a good match. Um, routing was definitely important for this one, though. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I mean, I know I was I was nervous going into this to begin with because I know Tay is a very talented runner just in everything he does. Um, so I was like, oh, I have to nice. I have to pick the right row or column from the get go to even have a chance. All right. Well, any play. closing thoughts, Tay or Cal, about how the match went? Uh, take back the C was pretty pretty difficult. Um, make sure you pay attention to where all the bocos are actually at, unlike me. And <laughs> yeah, go for headshots. Yeah, my my plan was to bomb arrow the bocos and the scouts or the the scout bocos, and then I was probably going to either bomb arrow or just two handed weapon everyone else off the off the platform. I, I played a more stealthy approach to it, but it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I lost a lot of arrows. Like I lost about thirty arrows like that. But yeah, GGs. GGs yeah, all GGs. around. Yeah, that was a good match. Thank you for the match. Uh, it was fun. Uh, good luck in the semifinals. I hope you win. Oh, that's yeah. That's gonna be scary from here on out. Like I was scared of this match too. Oh, good. I struck fear into you. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. Well, it seems like we're going, like, this was the last match of the day, and we're going to have another match tomorrow. I think we're going to have two tomorrow. One at, yeah, one at um, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, um, Apple Freezer versus Yo-Yo Swift, and one at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Makar versus Sir Tapir. So those are two matches to look forward to as well. And yeah. Excellent. Thank you to both runners and our restreamer and the board creators. This was yes. a fun one. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Gee, oh, Pyro's cute. Later. Oh, you're sweet.